Okay, question number 10 from P1, January 2019, International A-Level. Um, a sector AOB of a circle, center O, has a radius R centimeters and an angle theta radians. Okay, the angle is in radians. Given that the area of the sector is 6 centimeters squared and the perimeter of the sector is 10 centimeters, show that 3 theta squared minus 13 theta plus 12 equals 0. Okay, so you have a sector of a circle. Okay, so let me just draw something like that. You have a sector of a circle. So let's say this is our sector, it's like a pizza slice shape. The angle is theta and the radius is r, and theta is in radians. So when the angle is in radians, then the area is given by a half times r squared theta, and the length of the arc which is this distance from there to there. This is the length of the arc. Okay, is given by r times theta. Theta is in radians. So they told us that the area is 6 centimeters squared. So a half times r squared theta is equal to 6. And they also told us that the perimeter of the sector is 10. So the perimeter of a sector is given by um, the length of its outline. So you've got 2 radii. Okay, so it's 2r plus l. So we can say 2r plus r theta is equal to the perimeter, which is 10. Okay, so we have these two equations. Okay, and we've got to show that 3 theta squared minus 13 theta plus 12 equals 0. So we've got to eliminate um, the theta from the... Um, we've got to eliminate the r from this equation. Okay, so that's what we have to do. And in order to do that, okay, we have to try to combine these two, two equations together. Okay, so what it seems like we need to do is express um, theta in terms of r. So we're going to have theta equals r something and then replace, sorry, ex express r in terms of theta. Like uh, we want to have r equals something with theta and replace the r in the other equation with what it is equal to. So for example, here I can see that if I take r as common from these two, I'll have r times 2 plus theta equals 10. And I can write r is equal to 10 divided by 2 plus theta. Okay? And I can take that 10, plus, 10 over 2 plus theta and replace the r here with that. That's one way of doing it. Alternatively, okay, I, yeah, that would probably be the easiest way to do it because if I do it any other way, if I try to make this r the subject of the formula, I'm going to have something to do with square roots. Because r will be equal to 12 over theta all square rooted. And then I have to put it into here, it will make it more complicated. So I think this is probably the easiest way of doing it. So if I take r equals 10 over 2 plus theta, and I replace this r with that, I'll have a half times 10 over 2 plus theta squared times theta equals 6. So let's just simplify that and see if we get what we're supposed to get. So now, um, if I multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this half and square this, I'm going to get 10 squared, which is 100, over 2 plus theta squared, which is like the same as theta squared plus um, you're going to have 4 theta plus 4. Okay, it's like theta plus 2 all squared. Okay, so you're going to have, that's 4 theta here, not 40. Okay, you're going to square that, square that, and you're going to do 2 times that times that. It's like doing theta plus 2 times itself. Okay, you're going to have theta squared plus 2 theta plus 2 theta, that's a 4 theta plus 4. Okay, um, and you're going to multiply that by theta, and that's equal to 12. So I've multiplied both sides by 2. Okay. All right, to get rid of this half. And I've also squared what's inside the bracket. Now, um, what I'm going to have here is 100 theta. If I cross multiply, let me just make that a bit neater. I'll have 100 times theta. And I'm multiplying both sides of the equation by theta squared plus 4 theta plus 4. So I'll have equals 12 times theta squared plus... 12 times 4, which is 48 theta, 
plus 12 times 4 which is 48 okay now let me um, we have to make it look like this so let me bring everything onto one side make it equal say 0 on the other side so this is going to be equal 0 you got 12 theta squared now 48 minus 100 is going to be negative 52 theta and 40 and plus 48 okay let's move this down a bit <coughs> Now, what we have here is something which we can see is divisible by 4. 4 goes into all of these numbers. So I'm going to have, if I divide all of this by 4, I'm going to have 3 theta squared minus 4 into 5 goes 1 times 1, 13 theta, and plus 48 divided by 4 is 12, and 0 divided by 4 is 0. So there we have 3 theta squared plus minus 13 theta plus 12 equals 0, which is exactly what we had to prove. Okay, you can see that. And then it says part B, so this is part A, done. And then it says part B, find the possible values of R and theta. So we have to solve this equation and then find what theta is and R. So there's probably two possible values of R and theta. Now. Um, let's see if we can factorize this. Okay, we've got to find two numbers that multiply to give us um, 12 times 3, which is 36, and add to give us minus 13. I think I can think of them straight away. So you've got 3, 3, 3, thir three theta squared here and plus 12 here. Okay, two numbers multiply to give us 36 theta squared and add to give us minus 13 theta. It looks like it's going to be um, 3 times, no, 36. Okay, you're going to have minus 36 theta squared and you're going to have um, minus 13 theta. What numbers multiply to give you 36? You've got, um, you've got 6 times, you've got 12 times 3, you've got 4 times 9. 4 times 9 gives us 13. Yeah, so you're going to have minus 4 theta and minus 9 theta. Okay, if you multiply them together, you get the same as positive 36 x squared, the 36 theta squared, and if you add them together, you get minus 13 theta. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out the common factor from these two terms, which is 3 theta, and from these two terms, which is theta, 3 theta times minus 3, gives me minus 9 theta and theta times minus 4 gives me minus 4 theta so this factorizes to theta minus 3 and 3 theta minus 4 equals 0 so you've got theta equals 3 and theta equals 4 over 3 okay now what does it say find the possible values of r and theta now we already worked out that r is equal to 10 over 2 plus theta Okay, so we know that r is equal to 10 over 2 plus theta. Is that right? Make sure. 10 over 2 plus theta, that's right. So now, when theta equals 3, then r is going to be 10 over 2 plus 3, which is 10 over 5, which is 2. That's when theta equals 3. r is equal to 2. Okay, and when theta equals 4 over 3, you have r equals 10 over and you're going to have um, 2 plus 4 over 3 which is 10 over now this is like 6 over 3 that's 10 over 3 10 divided by 10 over 3 is the same as 10 times 3 over 10 which leaves you with 3 okay so when r when theta equals 4 over 3 in that case, r is equal to 3. So here we have our solutions for this. Okay, you have two pairs of solutions. Okay, when theta equals 3, r equals 2. When theta equals 4 over 3, r equals 3. And there we have the end of that question.